Hey yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I, I get a lot of really great replays. And I gotta tell you, this one's a real humdinger right here. We got we got APA Woody, who doesn't own a single round of premium ammo. So he he spawns in on an encounter mode on Ghost Town here. And I don't usually go to this middle like that, to be honest. I'm, I'm almost always working around the edges of this battle. And I, again, I have to mess with my stupid mouse. Driving me crazy. Over here on the west side. But I'm learning that there are a lot of shots to be had with scouts coming across the middle. But you have to be careful about getting shot yourself. So we got APA Woody coming on in here from Clan CWB. And he is going to have a really great game. Like I said, he doesn't own a single round of premium ammo. He's in his T26 E5 American Heavy Tier 8 tank. He's got a crab on the back. He's got, I don't know what's going on. What is this thing? Some kind of tank thing on the front. <laughs> this, like I said, this is a humdinger, man. So we're going to watch this one. There, there's a lot of great stuff. Now, I said it was encounter. I want you to think about that for a little while because we're going to get to why I found that to be important a little while later on this map, something I'd never thought of. But here we go. APA Woody, take it away. Show us how it's done on Ghost Town. The first thing he's going to do is a little trick driving. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to shoot, and then watch this. We're going to drive. <laughs> that was great. Fantastic. Fantastic. I wonder if there are fast light tanks that you can do that with and how long you can keep it on the edge of the tracks. You know, cars that drive like that. I wonder I wonder if he can do that. That would be pretty cool. But anyway, he pulls, pushes into the town on Ghost Town. Now, APA Woody is going to like this corner. And this corner is really going to like Woody. He's going to come in here. And, uh, you know, he is like the... What is it? The Three Bears, right? What's the, what's the Goldilocks? He is like Goldilocks here because he wants his pile to be just right. It's going to spend a lot of time. Woody, you're going to have to let us know down in the comments. What on earth? I, there's apparently a perfect spot in which APA Woody wants to be. Exactly on this rubble pile. Because he spends a lot of time moving back and forth. Now, the thing about this little corner that's really interesting is... And I'll take away from while Woody gets... He's trying to get situated here. There's a little pit right here in the middle of it. Which oftentimes seems like a great place to fight from. And, uh, well, we're going to find out if that's true or not. Also, you get guys on the corner. i got to use, use my camera correctly again. The corner right here. And then, of course, you can be shot by the guys over here. It, ju it just is really an interesting little spot. He gets a bounce off of the mutant right there. And a lot of red guys kind of hanging out. And I don't know why the panther decides to make a run for it. But he eats a shot into the side for his efforts. And Woody is still just trying to get, you know, just trying to get just exactly right in here. And <laughs> I think what's going on here is he's attempting to get as hold down as possible. And I guess he's figured out that if you get your track slightly up on this rock pile, none of the right side, at least from his view, the right side of his tank is sticking out. Now he permatracks the Panther 2, who either doesn't have a kit, probably doesn't have a kit, or the kit has been burned. And he does not have a fast enough repair crew to stay to get inside the reload rate. And that's that's one of the really nice things about the T26E5. It's a bit of a pew pew gun for a heavy at 240 alpha, but it reloads very, very quickly. Now, now we have our first customer coming in here. We've got the mutant has changed his position. We have a T34 moving up. Now just watch how this <laughs> watch how this fight develops. First the T4034 is coming around, APA pulls back. Now the T-34 is out in the open. And you'll notice that the mutant is making a move. He's making a move. He's crossing over here. He's looking for a shot on Woody. He's like, all right, we got some friends. We're going to take this guy. Oh, wait a minute. He went into the hole. All right, he's in the hole. Okay, he's in the hole and gets 260. <laughs> Woody is now looked down on the hole, on the top of the turret of the, of the mutant. And that is going to give him some advantages. And this mutant who says, oh, I got this really great turret. Unfortunately, he's being shot at from multiple directions. And it's a slight look down for old Woody. And Woody is just taking this guy on. And <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this, but we've had a T-54 Mod 1 enter the fight. And he is also in the pit. We have a T-32 over there, a Lerva, and a T-34. So Woody is busy. Now the, <laughs> the mutant figures out that the 54 is behind him, but it's too late. 
And then the T32 says, well, I'm going to get a piece of this 54 mod one. I'm going in too. So <laughs> now there, oh, there goes the 34. Now there's two of them in there. And now there's a super Pershing who's on fire. He's thinking about going in there. And the low is just like, all right, I'll just hang out up here. I'll try to shoot you guys. Now the low takes a hit. <laughs> the super Pershing's burning to the ground. The low is sitting there. He gets tracked. Now the lure of his track, he can't go anywhere. Woody's picking apart that poor guy. The 54 Mod 1 finally dies. But the T-34 is, I don't know what he's doing. He's backed up. Finally, the Super Persian gets a piece of Woody. And Woody has racked up 4,255. And one of the dangest things I've seen in this game in a long time. I, don't, <laughs> I only wish a few more people had piled in there. <laughs> now the 32... And the T-34 have dead carcasses to deal with. And they really, they don't have much of anywhere to go. I thought this might kill him, but he doesn't quite get to the hatch. The poor T-32 is trying to do something. He's stuck on a wall. The 34 goes by. <laughs> now he's, he says, screw it. I am just going to get out of the pit. I don't care what happens. This guy's irritating me. Woody puts a shot into him and does not track him, unfortunately, for Woody. But this guy really has no hope. And <laughs> T-32 dies. To an Artie. <laughs> it gets splashed by Artie. Holy cow. 4,961 damage and three kills. That that was amazing. What a <laughs> that was great. Alright, so I mentioned that this is an encounter. It's not that unusual. We've all been on this map with the encounter mode, provided you have encounter mode turned on. But here's what struck me as I was watching this. I'm going to speed this up because he doesn't get any more shots, really. He's going to sit here for a bit, kind of looking at what's going on. His team's not winning by a whole bunch. And Woody's going to come around this corner. He's going to come over here. He's going to get hold down. He's going to take a peek, see if he can get the 14-5, but he can't. Can't quite find him. And he's going to back out of there, and we'll speed it up some more. And then he's going to jump on cap. And when I saw Woody get on cap, I just thought to myself, Self, have you ever seen anybody cap? on this map. I I don't know. What about you guys? You ever seen anybody cap? I never, actually have never really looked at this building either. Kind of a cool building. He's hanging out, out here looking for shots. Now, artillery can make capping difficult, especially if you get spotted, but the enemy team is sitting with the Udez 14-5, who's kind of pinned down up here. The Sturve that was... I'm using this wrong thing again. The Sturve was last seen up here as well. One of them is an Artie, and the other one's the Udez, which is probably up here in the north or hanging out in the back or something. And we end up having a cap out by APA Woody. Could have been an even better game had he gone and looked for any hit points. Now, you see the ELC even 90 going through there. The Udez has actually dipped, dove off the hill. We have seven seconds. Down goes the Udez, and it's just a couple sturves and an artillery at that point. And I think Woody probably could have had an even better game because he ends up capping this thing out. This is a 1500 base game. Nothing but regular ammo. In fact, he didn't even bring any gold ammo with him. Even, even the crab is surprised. <laughs> even the crab is surprised. Nice job, man. That was great. That was a lot of fun to watch. That that whole fracas in the in the pit was <laughs> that was that alone was worth the price of admission. I don't know what those guys were thinking, but I, just, I thought the whole team at some point was going to pile into that pit. <laughs> nice job. Nicely done. Thanks for coming by, guys. I appreciate your support of the channel. There's ways down in the description to do so if you like. However, if you like what you saw, maybe you learned something or you just had a good time, go ahead and throw me a subscription, and we will see you. Is it a like or a follow? Whatever the heck it is in YouTube. See ya.